Hey guys, this is Sky again. And Lily again. And we are here with Billy, and we're about to go explore the room that we found him in. How long have I been here exactly? No comment. <laughs> <laughs> Gerald is a great companion. Really? He's a bug, Jack. What do you think? <laughs> I think you need some positive mental attitude. Sure, he's a bug. But he's not a scorpion, is he? Or a tarantula? Or a cockroach? Hmm. Things could be worse, but the fact remains that bugs don't make for good conversation. They don't make good two-way conversation. You just need to be more proactive. Unlike you, though, I do occasionally know when to shut up. This is it how this is how it's going to be, isn't it? <laughs> Welcome back to Wireland, Jack. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! Our duo's back. Oh, feels good. Oh, I can't look at the picture. No. Ooh. Oh. Whoa. Kuramori? Okay. Forgive me, I don't know who that is. Holy shrimp. More like the complete opposite of that. Seems like Evie's still working her so-called magic. You know what I mean. Seriously though, I never thought I'd get to see- Oh, Okay. It's a colossus. Mm -hmm. See a colossus in person. It's like a light- Long time fantasy come true. Wow, I cannot talk now. Yeah, I forgot that um, the Colossi actually have... Legit names. Legit names. Your fantasy was to get squashed by one of... Your fantasy was to get squashed by one of these things? Hey man, let me be the hero, okay? No squashing. That's cool. Choo-choo! A train? How come we're taking the train this time? Surprised you didn't ask why we're on a train to begin with, Jack. I wasn't on the train as Jack, but I was as Sean. Oh, right. Okay. Anyway, I thought it'd be obvious why we're taking the train this time. Well then. Elucidate further. Okay, when they're merged together, he uses big words. I mean, Alpheus was the one ta taking us around Wireland using shortcuts. The only reason why she could do that is because it was a copy of your personal computer there. As for us common wireish folks, we go from game to game using the train. That's a cool system. Yeah, I guess it is. It's really cool to show you more of Wireland. Aw, did you miss me? What? No, shut up! <laughs> so, where are we going? Well, Wireland's kind of central city is nearby, and I think there's someone who can help us. So, a short little quest to fix the computer, and I'll be on my way? Yep, not like last time. No gigantic grand adventure, just nip over, use your overrides, and fix up whatever's bugged. It's not like I wanted you here forever. And where exactly are we? I spawned here inside my apartment, just like last time. And also, not like last time? I had two separate sets of memories about this place is confusing. I bet. Well, I wanted you to have enough room to get set up so you spawn just outside of... of Byton. Byton. Outside of... where? Uh, Byton. Look, Jack, you're the one who un who unleashed an avalanche of Undertale characters in here. We were perfectly happy, happy, happy calling them District 1, 2, and 3. <laughs> nah, I like it. Byton. That's cool. So, to Python we go. Oh yeah, that's right, because in the boss is nothing, it was District 1, 2, two and 3. <laughs> <laughs> hey there, cool dog. Oh, the typing game. <coughs> I'd have no idea what typing dog's voice was. Oh, it's you. One of my typing legends. You taught Billy typing? I mean, what else is there to do in that game? You are Jack. Yep, it's me. You need more practice with typing. Jack, the longer we talk to him, the worse it gets. Can we go? You can't 
become good typists if you don't practice. Sure, we can live. Wait, what? Leave. We can leave. <laughs> <laughs> it's infectious. Oh, I know who this is. Hey, Greg. Still can't get signal? Ugh, fuck the stupid barrier. Fuck it so much. <laughs> what? Nothing. Hang on. Evie didn't censor that. Has she given up? That or she's broke? That's me. I'm gonna <laughs> steal all your lines. <laughs> no! That or she's broken. Thank goodness. Maybe she just breaks around Greg. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Aw. This guy doesn't talk, Jack. It's all good. Hey, you know what? I am in a coma now. How ironic. You're not in a coma. Part of your mind's been uploaded to a computer. There's a huge difference. That's not what it's going to look like if someone calls 999 and I get carted off to the hospital. Uh, yeah it is. Any brain scan would look like you're just asleep in whatever position you fell in. And in your case, you're probably face planted into the floor, drooling butt up in the air. You wouldn't <laughs> want anyone seeing you like that. Eh, the channel has gotten enough unflattering images of me to the last several lifetimes. <laughs> Flop. You say these things as if they're worth being proud of. Flop. Aww, this guy's cute. All sleepy like that. Well, don't wake it up. They cause so much trouble even when they're not in packs. Uh, little nightmares. Mm-hmm. Aw, are you guys back from a date? Not a very talkative bunch on the train today. Well, you're adorable anyway. Oh, from the moon. Oh. We're inside your computer? Jeez, I look forward to this train. I look forward to this train forever stopping at the first station. Hi, Watts. Hi, Eva. Watts, please don't make light of the situation. This could be extremely detrimental to all of Ireland. Sorry about that. You're Jack, right? Well, one and only. It's great to meet you guys. Didn't think you'd we'd show up, huh? Well, I did only play one episode of Finding Paradise. Oh, okay. But I guess once you're here, you're here. Yep, can't give it a fuss if you try. We hope you can figure out a way to fix Fireland soon. Oh, oh Friend in Paradise, not to the moon. Oh. Oh, I know where this is going. Suck on my balls! <laughs> so to the next city we go. <coughs> I don't feel weird being here without Jenny or Cliff. What did you say? Uh, I said it'd be weird without Ginny and Cliff. You didn't forget about them, did you? N no Oh no, I did forget. I completely forgot. Uh, Billy? Are you okay? The code. The code to bring you back. I forgot about Jenny and Cliff. Calm down. Take some deep breaths. What are you talking about? Okay, so you remember how we got you, how, how you got back, how I made you, made sure you could only say, how you could say goodbye to Jenny and Cliff before you left? Yes. When I brought you back, I just copied the code over and reversed its effects, said a couple of false things to true and true things to false, and I thought, well, I won't have to code it all over again. Except I forgot. I forgot, I forgot all about Jenny and Cliff being coded to say goodbye to you, so when the code to take you home was reversed... Oh, they're here. I'm sorry, Jack. I messed it up. I thought it was just gonna be you, and I messed it up, messed all of it up. I'm sorry. No, it it was a mistake. Okay, don't freak out. That'll just make things worse. I didn't see them. Where do you think they went? I don't know. Nearby, I think. There was a delay effect, all the, enough to make sure that they said their goodbyes before they left, so they wouldn't have spawned here at the same time. They're probably in a game. Here we go again. Okay, well, let's stop at the next stop and see if we can find them there. 
We're headed toward a game, right? Last time I was here, I saw how close the games were to each other. Okay, you're right. Let's get off at the next stop. Oh. Bing bong. Mm -hmm. Oh, I like that. Yeah, that's ironic. <coughs> Slime Rancher! Cool! Innocuous, too. Good. Nothing dangerous except maybe that king slime over there, but that, but don't get too close to him and you're free. And you're fine. Free? free. King slime? That's new. It might be a result of the glitching. I can see that. Anyway. Let's look around and see if we can find Jenny or Cliff or anything that indicates where they've been. Okay. Well, we're not far from your apartment, so if they're anywhere, they're probably around here. You know, this locket looks really familiar. Scarily familiar. You don't think Jenny would have... Only one way to find out. Hey, hey, you big glob of glue. Billy, what are you? Oh! No! Whoops! <laughs> Good job, Billy. Uh, uh that's you. <laughs> uh, nice slime. I'm gonna take, gonna back away. Hey, better see if there's a way to free Billy. Probably Jenny, too, if she's in there. Don't worry, you guys. I've got this. I can barely make out Billy's cowling. Aside from the surprise of getting eaten, he seems perfectly alright. That's good. At least. Ah, Slime Rancher. Phase Lemon. I guess you gotta actually like. Ah, oh, that moment where I've never played Slime Rancher, so I have no idea how to feed these things. Green sparkles. Hey, someone put fan art here. <coughs> oh. oh! Oh, that's Ollie! Nice! Odd onion. I watched some though, so I know some of them. A plort! <laughs> a plort! Right. Puddle plort. Like, I know that they're uh, carnivores. Silver parsnip. Frickin' finally! Where were you when I really needed you? Slimes. And probably need the chicken. Oh, cute little puddle slimes. Easiest to feed too. And what? Don't forget the chicken. Oh, yeah. Hey there, chickadee. Okay. I'm gonna go down first. seems to load another game, but I think the only way I can free Billy and Jenny is probably in this one, meaning I should probably look around more. Okay. okay. So, to the green area we go. <laughs> hmm, there's an envelope here. I wonder what's inside. Ode to the King by just another rancher staring into the sky. I stare upon thy features grand, a banquet for you. I have planned to gorge you and your girth, expand so I may go explore this land. A when, oh when, I see that sky of mint and mango float on by, my heart will bleed, a tear I'll cry, to care it all that near me cr lies. So please, dear king, eat all you will, and when you've had more than your fill, in pink explosion, pay your bill, so I may sow the land and till. Oh, 
Oh, okay. So do we need to overfeed it? Yeah, but it definitely said which ones we need to feed. <coughs> yeah. Okay. Okay, so pull it up again. Oh, that's a nice UI. Uh huh. Okay, so we're just now. And we have coffee. Okay. Uh, okay, so. So, hen hen, mint, and mango. Okay, so that's actually a, man a mint mango. Okay, oh, mint mango. It it's a legit thing. Okay. Uh, beet, that's a thing. And carrot. carrot. Okay. So just a carrot or a person? Okay. Carrot. Carrot. And that's the mint mango over here. You are too adorable for words. <laughs> oh. Okay. No. Oka. Oh, that's no oka. That's not a. Ah, the spuds of slime rancher. I'll leave that one. Quickly pair. Silver. Yes! Oh, sweet, sweet redemption! Wow, that was kind of intense. <gasps> what? Hey, why are you, uh. Oh, you're hungry, huh? Oh. Yeah. Because we can give up the hen hen. Because there's another one over there. Yeah. No. <laughs> Here you go, kitty. Eat up and make me some of them glory points. No. Alrighty, Tabby Port. Minus the litter box. But there's sand everywhere anyway. Okay, I'm gonna go get that other hen hen. Run. Hey there, chickadee. Wee. <laughs> hey there, little guy. Any idea how I can burst your king and get my friends back? Yeah, I guess you're not one for conversation being a slime. Thanks for listening, though. <laughs> Delicious in real life, be useless in slime rancher. Also too confusing with snar per silver parsnips. Excuse me. I'm Stop okay. dying. I'm okay. Oh, you're so cute. Glad these guys are locked up. Those slimes gonna hurt. Uh oh. But there's two that are not. Yeah. Guess what's over there? Oh no. Ooh, mosaic slimes. I don't need anything from them, but they're so cool looking up close. Ah, oh, those spikes look sharp. I should keep my distance. Ah, shoot. Some of the rock slimes got out of their pens. Come on, slimy slimes. You gonna let old Papa Jack by so he can get the mint mango? Ow! Wait, don't try to reason with rock slimes. I was a no good piece of. You're lucky I'm so darn cute. Okay. Back it up a bit, Jack boy. How'd you get these little guys to move? Do I have anything these rock slimes might like? Maybe a carrot? Yes. Yeet! <laughs> Come and get you, you cute little pains in the ass. That nah, should hold them. You guys are just too cute.
<laughs> Zoom! Oh, okay. The range exchange, of course. Let me see what it needs and what I'll give. Looks like it wants a... If I want a heartbeat, it'll take a tabby plort and a puddle plort. Oh, perfect. Huh. Not as complicated as it usually is, but that's probably for the best. Alright, Daddy. Better go looking for him. Let's see if I can get ports. Moving slimes and a puddle slime to get them. Puddle slimes just drink water, so I'm sure if I went to water, I'll find them. Find one. Okay, that's easy enough. I actually need that. Ugh. Yep, got the heartbeat. I can faintly hear a veggie. Okay, so I think we've got it, buddy. Yeah. Okay, so hen hen, meat, mint mango, meat mango. Heartbeat and carrot. So, hen, mango, heart, and carrot. Great. I think so. Hen, hen. Would, could you call this a foul mood? Okay, it seems to like that. I wonder what I should feed it next. And that was mint, right? Yeah, mint mango. <coughs> hmm. So you wanted mint mango. Good. I seem to be on the right track. Here. That's the heartbeat. Yep. Have a heart. Beats. I mean, good. I seem to be on the right track here. And then it's a carrot. Hey, that seemed to work. <laughs> Oh, that's that, a face. That uh, face. That, that's not good. Ugh, that was nasty. <laughs> oh, the face you gave me! I can't see Billy's face, okay? <laughs> uh, that was nasty. That face you gave me. Did you do Jenny, or did I? You did Jenny, I did Cliff. Because I did the puns. Do you want to switch? Oh, I did do Ginny, because I did the girl voice. Yeah. Jack! It's you! Jenny, hey! Oh my gosh, it's been so long, and... Well, I'd hug you, but I'm... All covered in goo. I guess that doesn't really matter now, but it might be good to hold off for now. And here's your necklace. Anyway, it's great to see you again. Are you okay? I'm fine. Bit sticky. Might need a shower. Well, this was disgusting. Good thing we don't have to breathe or we'd be drowned in that thing. We'd have drowned in that thing. So, how'd you get eaten in the first place? I kind of spawned right next to it and it was, well, it seemed like it hadn't been fed in a while and I was right, I was just the right size for lunch. Poor Jenny. Everything's better? Sort of? Why are we back in Wireland? Are all the subscribers back? Nope. Someone screwed up and brought back just us. So sorry, so sorry I wanted to save my home from crumbling. What does this have to do with me? It doesn't. You and Cliff were brought here by mistake. It'd take a while to explain. Cliff's here too. Like I said, Someone screwed up. You know, it's common courtesy that when someone acknowledges that they've made a mistake and sincerely apologizes, you stop rubbing it in their face. Just saying. Sorry, Billy. Still, even if it was just, even if it was a mishap, it's so good to see you again. We should <coughs> find Cliff and then get you and Billy a shower. You too, actually. Really? Aw, oh, man. And here I thought I'd been taking my shower when I got home. Doesn't hurt to take two. Lead the way, I guess.
turmoil in my slime rancher? It's more likely than we thought. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jenny! <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, that's been a bit of an issue lately, too. You mean that's not normal? It never was normal. Wait, seriously? I mean, it should have been apparent, but I guess some people open their eyes at a one, one lash at a time. Imagine if you're playing, oh, Minecraft, and suddenly Altair ran in and started slaughtering villagers. Are you kidding? That would be... Mm. Exact opposite of what's supposed to happen in my heckin' good Minecraft server. <clears throat> anyway, my point is, games mixed together, not good. Games on their own, good. And playable. Okay then, time to keep <laughs> going and keep these games from sticking together. With our own brand of digital cooking spray. Determination! Wow, what can't determination do? I can think of a few things. Man, this place looks really unstable. I wonder how I got this way. Who knows? Could have been age, freak storms, or maybe the least likely culprit- GLITCHING! Wait. This place looks like it went through a hurricane. Is that what glitching looks like here? Or are they little glitchy termites? You want to understand, it's all too technical. <sighs> what? I'm just disappointed. This fine building is broken. Didn't you hear me silo? out? Silo? You're forcibly reminding me of why it's been so long since you were here last. <laughs> <laughs> ah, when both halves are put together. Someone's stuck fan art here. Ooh. Ooh. Oh. oh, I don't know that person. <coughs> I'm half expecting to see Niles run around here. Who? Never mind. Well, whatever the case, it seems like Daphne really has everything this time. It's understandable. They're trying to make do in a bad situation. Thankfully, you never get to see the interior, so everyone fits inside a... So everyone fits inside on that, technically. Bigger on the inside? You know it. Do you Doctor Who fans. Actually, the first reference wasn't. Ah, uh, never mind. We really- we should be doing things right now. Is this where the mirror will may Maybe? Maybe. Then again? May or may not. I'm getting a stereo headache. Thanks, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Always happy to help, Billy. <laughs> hey, I've got two voices. You're coming. <laughs> Jack, welcome back. Your account is all in order. Here's your money. Hmm, let me see. A hundred seventeen thousand six hundred twenty-seven? How do I have this much money? Well, you never spent it. I uh, spent it after drilling. I've kept it nice and safe for you. Wow! Thanks. Ching! You got a hundred seventeen thousand six hundred twenty-seven bytes. Ching! Well, that's bank just asking for someone to break into it. Hmm. Billy, you're not thinking of staging a bank robbery, are you? In broad daylight, right in front of the banker himself? What? No, of course not. You're right. You're right. I'm so thoughtless. You need your tools first. If I end up in jail, I'm throwing you under the bus at my court hearing. <laughs> nice try, but I still never played Ace Attorney. For my sake, you probably should. <laughs> no promises. <gasps> at least you're only in danger of getting thrown into prison. Imagine if he played Dagnaropa. Okay, yeah, no, this is better. <laughs> <laughs> Look, Daphne's it. Daphne's is here. If there's one thing I learned from playing Turmoil, it's to always go to Daphne's. 
So, do we need anything? Ah, uh, no. But it's nice to know it's here anyway. Probably should just go. Yeah. Okay. Oh, that's weird. That's a glitch slime. Help! What the? I'm gonna guess who that is. Yeah! <laughs> Jack, is that you? Please help me! What are you doing wearing Mark's shirt? <laughs> Whoa, Cliff! Uh, hey, hold on! I am holding on! Okay, uh, I'm coming to get you. Just hang on, hang tight, and don't look down. Too late. I've already looked. It's a long way down, and even further if I fall into that massive hole. <laughs> Not to mention, tar is everywhere. This could get really nasty. Do we have something we could spray them with? No. <laughs> but there was a whole town back there. Okay, so we get rid of all the tars, then what? I mean, he's still stuck up there. Good point. I have an idea. Remember your biggest problem, Turmoil, back when you played it? Uh, spillage? Exactly! What if I get a good- got a good spillage going here? Probably fill the hole with oil so Cliff can jump down. Ooh, intentional spillage. That I can do. Hang on, Cliff, I'm coming. After I get a water gun in the shop. Okay, please hurry. For the sake of simplicity, party members will not be shown for this section. Oh, okay. Uh, let me get to the... All right, let's get to here. Okay. And I think we're gonna take a pause here and we'll be back shortly to help Cliff off of his um, predicament. <laughs> <laughs> and we'll catch you in just a few minutes. Bye guys. Bye.